Welcome to another Progeny Press Study Guide tutorial. Today we're looking at Little House in the Big Woods, as you can see, and we're going to cover some basics and then move on to something a little more advanced for you guys today. So we're going to use the table of contents to skip ourselves down to the first section here. We have our vocabulary section, and what we're going to do here is we're going to type our answers right in the file. So we're going to click here and type our answers in. Uh, by the way, feel free to use my answers for your own work. However, I accept no responsibility for your grades. So we got our first answer in here, and we can hit the tab key, bump us down to the next uh, form to fill in, and we're going to type in our next answer right there. And that'll do that for the typing. And here we're going to move on to something a little more advanced. What we're going to want to do is type our answer in the blank space, but we also want to keep things a little more organized and tell what words in the vocabulary section we still have left to use. So we're going to want to cross those out as we go. So we're going to type in our first word there, as you can see. And then under Tools, we're going to want to go to Customize Toolbars. And here we're going to click on the comment and markup toolbar. And we don't really need all of these tools, so we're just going to uncheck these. But we will want the cross out, the underline, the highlight. We don't really need the stamp tool or the text box or any of that. Um, the sticky note tool is very handy for grading the work after the students completed it. So we may want to keep that one checked. Uh, just going through here, um, you know, some of these can be handy. Uh, the rest of this you can kind of go through and see what works for you, uh, what, what kind of uh, helps you keep track of your work a little more. I'm just going to kind of go through and pick the, the options that I find helpful. So feel free to kind of go back and forth, follow along, and uh, go through. We will definitely want the select tool, however, so make sure you get that one. I'm going to click OK, and then oh, select my tool. We're going to go up here in the toolbar where you can see we have some new new options. We're going to click the cross out tool, and we're going to highlight Savage, which then crosses it out. So then once we cross that out. We can point at it, uh, select it, and delete it. We can also double click to uh, cross something out quickly. Uh, you will notice that you won't be able to click on the uh, text fields to continue typing, so we need to go up to uh, highlight and select the select tool, which is one of the reasons we need to make sure we select that in our customized toolbar. Uh, once we do that, we can once again, click in the text box and continue answering the questions. So we can, that just helps, you know, keep things a little more organized for us. So this is Progeny Press Study Guide Tutorial, signing off.